whoopsie doodle, wasn't planning on that. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a swatch and review video for y'all today on this adorable little palette right here. This is the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Honey Palette. Super duper cute. So I'm gonna do like I normally do in my review videos. We'll talk about the pricing, we'll look at packaging, we'll look at some swatches. I'm also gonna compare it with the Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette from Too Faced and just kind of say how they're similar, how they're different, etc., etc. And then just kind of let you know what I think about this palette overall. So let's get to it. So the price of this palette is $36 and you get three eyeshadows in here that are two grams each and six eyeshadows that are 0.9 grams each. So the same as the other smaller tin pan palettes from Too Faced, same kind of situation here. The packaging, oh my goodness, what can I even say about the packaging? Because it is so stinking cute. That's what I have to say about it. It's stinking cute. It's my favorite part of this palette. It's just this adorable honeycomb sort of a design. It's actually raised. I love that this actually looks like dripped honey for the word honey. It is so adorable. Oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. The outside box is super duper cute too, so that's what that looks like. Let me show you in comparison with the um, peanut butter and jelly palette. So here are the two outside boxes for each of those because you know I hang on to my boxes. And then here are the two palettes side by side. They're just super cute. I thought this one was super, super cute, but this one's even more adorable. So love the packaging. As far as what you're getting in this palette, this is a very light, very warm tone neutral palette. So you do have a row of light shades there and then just a lot of really warm colors. So a lot of kind of warm orangey browns. You have a peach there, a yellow. I think this is the one that everybody was really excited about. So that's in there. These two are really kind of unique shades and you'll see it in the swatches. They're just different and I really like them. This one's like, I don't know, just kind of a, like a rusty, brown sort of color and then this one's kind of like a mustardy brown it's really really neat so overall you can see it here pretty light and extremely warm toned you have to like warm toned palettes to like this one for sure okay i came in a little bit closer for some swatches so right down here i promise there are some shadows there but they're just really close to my skin tone so they really don't show up super well on me but there are shadows there so right here this one is creamed honey this is basically a matte, but it does have some really tiny micro shimmer in it, which I kind of forgot about and put it up on my brow bone. So I probably have some glitter on my brow bone today. Whoopsie doodle, wasn't planning on that. And then in the middle here, this is peanut butter. This is the same one that's in the peanut butter and jelly palette. Really nice matte there. This one is going nuts. This is one that I feel like you kind of have to like get down into to really get pigmentation because at first it wasn't swatching well, but once I got down into it, it was better. So now it looks really pretty. In the middle here, this one is the second row of the palette. That one is Be Sweet. Super cute name. It's kind of like a matte pinky shade. Again, really doesn't show up on me. In the middle here, that one is Honey Brittle. It's a really pretty matte kind of peachy shade. I really, really like that one. I do have that on my lower lash line, but it's probably a little bit hard to see because I do have it over a liner, so it kind of changes the way it looks. Um, this one is one of my very favorites in the palette. This one is Bee's Knees. It is a really pretty like burnt orange color, but then it has some like micro shimmer that's golden. It's really, really pretty. I think that's a really nice unique shade. I love that one. Favorite row in the palette, this is the bottom row. That one is Queen Bee, and it's kind of like a light, a really light champagne white color. This one shows up the best on me. I did apply this on my lids, but I had to apply it with some MAC Fix Plus to really have it show up at all. And I did apply it even with my fingers to try to get some like color build up, but I do like it. I think it's just on my skin tone, it doesn't show up super well. This one I think is the color everybody's gonna be excited about. That one is Honey Buns, and it's a really nice yellowy shade. I do have that in my crease today. It's a nice matte color, really pretty. This one is Feeling Nutty, and that one is a really pretty color too. It's kind of like a um, mid-tone brown, but it's kind of like a mustardy brown, so I feel like it's really unique. I like that one a lot too. Now let's do some comparing between the Peanut Butter and Honey palette, which is on the bottom, and the Peanut Butter and Jelly palette, which is on the top. So you can see they are different palettes, 
but they could definitely be combined into one big palette, I would say. So there is some overlap with like the kind of like warm brown sort of colors. Not repeats other than peanut butter. That one is repeated, but other than that, it's just kind of like the same sort of feeling with those sort of shades, but then they kind of like veer off and are different in that the peanut butter and jelly has those kind of purpley shades and the peanut butter and honey palette has the peach and the yellowy shade. But I feel like you could take that gold from the peanut butter and jelly palette and put it in the peanut butter and honey and it would work really well. So I feel like you could kind of like move around some shades from each one and put them into the other one and it would still make sense. So there is kind of some overlap with like the feeling of each palette, but as far as exact colors being the same, just peanut butter is the same. Then for some comparison swatches, the peanut butter and honey is on this side, peanut butter and jelly is on this side, and don't mind these swatches. I swatched with my left hand onto my right hand and I am so right-handed, so they're not very pretty. And don't mind my bruise. I tripped over one of my lights the other day and fell into my chair, which was so graceful. I do that really, really often. Trip over something, fall into something, bang into a wall by accident. You know, I'm just like so coordinated. Okay, so here are some swatch comparisons. So again, you can see kind of like some colors that could kind of go like back and forth, but then you do see kind of like those standout differences that the this one over here, the peanut butter and jelly, has the purpley shades and this one over here has that kind of orangey shade. But I really do feel like the gold would make more sense in this palette or just make a gold in here. I do really wish that that was in this palette. So there are some things that I would change about this palette. So let's get to that. As far as the performance goes on these shadows, really no problems there. Like they blend really nicely, they're pigmented, they work well together, they wear well. So they're easy to work with and really nice shadows. I just really don't love these light shades in this palette. Like these are just not my favorite light shades that I've seen from Too Faced. They're not necessarily bad shadows, and a lot of it does have to do with just my skin tone color and these kind of colors. They just really don't show up on me very well. Um, but even like Creamed Honey, it's just kind of a personal preference. Like I don't really know what to do with a light kind of ivory shade with micro shimmer in it. Like I just really don't know what to do with that. So this is what I kind of wish was happening with this palette. And this is all personal preference, just things that I would personally like to see in this palette. But I would have loved to see a more matte color, like a matte cream shade, and maybe like a gold. Like I would love to see more yellow in this palette. Like I feel like that's kind of like what's maybe missing here. I really do like these because they're kind of more unique. I like that this one's in here because that's a nice blending shade. It's just a pretty color. But I just, I wish there was more of this happening because I just thought of like the honey palette and so I wish that that was something different about it. But I mean, I saw pictures. I knew what I was getting when I ordered it. That's just something I would have changed about it. Like another yellow shade, another gold, something like that, and then like a nice matte creamy shade. So my overall thoughts and review on this palette is that I really do like it. And the more that I play with it, the more that I'm liking it and the more that I'm falling in love with it. And you know, I'm kind of like that with certain makeup items. Like some things I get and I love everything about them right from the beginning, but some I kind of have to like play around with and sort of like fall in love with them. And I feel like that's the situation with this palette. I don't think this is ever going to be a top five, top 10 favorite palettes ever for me, but I do think I'm going to fall more in love with it the more that I use it. And I do like it now, like even just looking at it, the packaging is absolutely adorable. Like this is some of the cutest packaging I've ever seen. One of the cutest palettes that I own. So I love the packaging about it. That makes me excited that I bought it just looking at it. And then also the collector in me. I mean, I feel like the peanut butter and jelly palette and the peanut butter and honey palette just are friends and need to be together. So that makes me glad that I bought it. So I'm glad that I purchased this palette. There are some things I would change about it. Just mentioned those to you. So I think if those were changed, I would love it like right from the beginning, everything about it. But those things not being there and the situation being what it is with the color selection and some of the shades, I do like it. It's not my favorite palette I've ever owned, but I am glad that I purchased it. All right guys, so that's my overall review on the peanut butter and honey palette. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was and let me know down below what your thoughts are on this palette. If you tried it out yourself, what do you think about it? Or just looking at swatches and watching this video, what are your thoughts? I'd love to know those. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.
Bye.